Hi everyone, it's Kelly Van Washanova here. Today I'm going to walk you through how you might set up a quiz in Notebull as a questionnaire for your students so that you can gather some data about them as we start the fall hybrid semester. So let's get started. Now in Notebull, you can go over to your assignments tab and this is of course where you can create quizzes and tests. So by clicking the Add button and Test or Quiz, this will generate here. Now, for the title of this, I'm just going to call it Intro Questionnaire. And you can always choose which um, category you want to put it in. And then you can choose a grade display. Now, all of this is detailed more in videos where we go over creating quizzes and things like that. For the purpose of this particular quiz, I'm probably going to give my students a point or two for taking it, so I'll just leave it as points, and I don't need a time limit. So I'm going to put in the description Tell me more about yourself in this semester. And you can choose question order. Again, all of this here, this is handled in some of those videos that we have on creating tests and quizzes. But I'm just going to start with the default of a free response question just to get myself started and hit create there. Now, once the quiz creates and it generates, you will see that you can keep adding your questions. So right here, I'm just going to click Question one, and I'm just going to say, will you be oh. now this might just be a simple yes or no, so you could always change it to a multiple choice, and the answers could be yes or no. Now, if you do it this way, Nopal is going to make you choose the correct answer. So um, just keep that in mind. It's going to mark something as incorrect or correct. But if you go ahead and just make all of them free response, then it's not going to mark anything as correct or incorrect. Okay, I'm just going to generate a few more questions really quick and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so I just went ahead and added some free response questions to the quiz here. So you can see that question one, these are just, again, these are just some examples of what you could do. Question one, will you be on campus this fall semester? If you are not on campus, where are you? What time zone are you located in? That is a really good one. Here we have, do you have any conflicts that would make it difficult for you to attend synchronous class sessions online? If that's something you are planning to do, you could ask that. You could also say something like include athletics, work, and other obligations. Um, this came up because someone had a question about doing classes outside of the normal class time. Um, so that's why I wanted to include the example. Down here, I just really like this prompt. I heard it from a faculty member on campus and it's tell me the one thing you are most proud of recently. Answer just as a person, not a student. Do not overthink this. And then I have the last question, question five. Is there anything else you would like to share with me as we begin the semester? Now, this is just a basis of where you can start with those questions. And then once you're ready, you can go ahead and you'll have to hit publish test or quiz. You can set the available dates and times and the due dates and times. I would say to turn this on whenever you're planning for your course to go live to your students and then make the due date within the first week just because then students can get it to you. You can go ahead and take a look. Um, let me back up one second. For the points for each question, you can always give them points if that's what you're choosing. I just made everything zero for the purposes of the demo though. Okay, so once I have that set up, I'll hit publish test or quiz. And this is just a warning that I won't be able to make changes once, once someone submits. And I'll hit publish. All right, so now that I've published in the assignments tab, I can see it here, I can go in, and I'm just going to pause for a moment and go have students respond so that I can go over the way to look at the answers.
Now that I had a few students go in and take this intro questionnaire, you can see in the assignments tab here that I can look and see that two out of three have submitted it. I only have three students in this demo class. But once I click intro questionnaire, I can go in and I can review results by student or results by question. So result by student will let me click on the student and then I can go ahead and see what they wrote. Okay, so will you be on campus? Yes. If you are not on campus, where are you? What time zone are you located in? So I can go ahead and I can always go right into this assignments tab and I can check what my students have submitted here. And this is just a great opportunity to keep everything in one place so you know your students and what they're doing. The other option here is results by question, and this will allow you to go in and click question one, and then you can see what each student has submitted. So Noah here, he put yes. Yeah. So if I just want to know what the responses were to question one, I could just go to results by question and I could skim through there. Okay, so that is a really simple way to keep all of your data on your students in Noble and just have it there. Um, how this can also look is when you're in the grades tab here, it is going to ask you to put points in, but since it was out of zero points, you can always, um, it will redirect you over to the quiz. But if you don't want it to look like you haven't graded yet, you can just go through and put zero. You also are welcome to give points to your students for completing these. You can make each of them a fraction of a point or something like that, but this just will help you to see who has completed. So now I see in the grades tab, I've given them zero, but at least I know that Noah has finished it perhaps this way. Something else that will help give you a little bit more data about your students is Notebull is currently working on a feature where in the roster tab you'll have the ability to see if they're on or off campus. So this is a screenshot of what we will be able to see once the update goes out at the end of July. It's these little green icons. Those are the ones saying they're on campus. The red symbolizes being off campus. And then you'll notice down here where there's a little green and then a red house. That indicates that they are on campus, but they're virtual. Okay, it's assumed that the little red one's there. That just means they're pure virtual, not on campus. Uh, a little bit closer up here, you can see in this screenshot that if you hover over that little red house, that icon, it says that the student is virtual. Whereas if you were to hover over the little green icon there that shows campus, it would say is on campus. And then back to the original here, if I were to hover over this one where it's the little red symbol, it would say is off campus. So this is not complete yet, which is why I'm showing you screenshots, but this is something that will be available for fall. Another thing that I encourage everyone to do with their students is to ask them to update their photo in Noble. I say to have a professional looking headshot of themselves. It doesn't have to be fancy, but make sure it's them and like not their dog. It's very simple to upload a photo of yourself in Noble. Just go to the top right, click on the little drop down, and it's in settings, and you upload a photo. Simple, easy, done. Uh, we actually have a video somewhere on the YouTube channel that demos that for students as well. So, all right. Well, that's one way to collect data on your students at the beginning of the semester. I do encourage everyone to do some kind of an intro questionnaire, whether it's just in Noble in the quiz form, or if you're more comfortable using a Google form, you're welcome to do that. I, I think it's very valuable to helping you know where your students are. Thanks for watching. Bye.